Hey everybody, this is going to be a real quick video about um, the Samsung LED wallet cover. Um, I really, really like this case. Um, I ordered this case um, at release of the S9, so actually the case arrived um, a few days before my S9 did. And so I've really enjoyed it up until uh, Android Pie came out. And um, so basically, once that update came out, I think it was back in February, uh, the cover just stopped working. Um, so there's supposed to be some lights that uh, come across here. It'll show you the time or show you notifications, and they've just stopped working. Usually when you hit this button, they would pop up. Um, and also the other thing that occurs um, is that when you close, uh, close the cover, that you can see the screen is no, no longer shutting off. Um, so that was that was even more annoying than not having these notifications, and I know it was the uh, I know it was Android Pie because I actually flat reflashed uh, Oreo back on it, reflashed 8.0 uh, back in February, and the cover started working again. Um, so yesterday I was bored and decided, oh well, surely in six months they have gotten this straightened out, and I went ahead and upgraded. Uh, back to 9.0 and of course the cover is dead again and I've tried everything I factory reset the phone didn't even let it install any apps just to make sure it wasn't that there's been all kinds of things where people have talked about oh well if you take it out of the case and put it back in the case and reboot the phone and all this kind of other stuff um, nothing nothing works at all um, so um, I have discovered a fix if you will for this um, and the fix, unfortunately, is this. And you're saying, oh wait, I thought there was nothing wrong with the case. Well, there really isn't anything wrong with the case. This case worked yesterday. It, it stopped working exactly the point which the phone booted, uh, booted back into 9.0. Uh, but on a whim, I thought, well, I wonder if they have changed something um, in the newer case. You know, this is a very early uh, early release of this case. In other words, this, you know, like I said, I ordered this when it came out, and I was just so confused as to why some people uh, were not, you know, so some people said, oh, it works great, and then other people like me, it doesn't work at all. And that got me wondering, I wonder if they've changed something. And and really, these cases do look identical, so nothing nothing that you can really, e really easily look, uh, but I do have the original boxes here. This is the original one that I bought uh, over a year ago when the S9 was released. And if you look real closely, you can see this uh, GH69-3151A um, number on the original box. And I just went and picked this up at Best Buy this afternoon. And if you look closely here, we have a revision 1.1. So it's the same models. Uh, this number is the same, you know, 3150. 30, 1A, but this one has the revision 1.1, so something changed. And you know, these cases have to have, I would say, some sort of firmware or something like that, and that is incompatible on these earlier revisions with uh, Android 9.0. Um, so you can see nothing works, and then we're just going to pop this bad boy out of here. That's the old case. new case I picked up today and bam it works and um, yeah so that that's all it was and the screen shuts off like it should um, so this newer revision of the case is what solves the problem and it's really a shame because there's actually nothing wrong you know with this other than the fact that you know something in the update broke something now you would think that Samsung you know would be smart enough to figure out how to release an update that would work with all of the revisions of this case, but if you have an earlier revision of the case, um, that's probably the problem. And the safest bet would be to go to, uh, you know, in my opinion, a brick and mortar store like Best Buy or somewhere like that that's probably moving these things in and out and has fresh stock, um, and look for a box that says revision 1.1 on it. And you know, the other interesting thing is that if you go into the settings, when you've got a case on, um, and you go in here to advanced features, you've got this accessories option. 
um, that sh talks about the case and everything, you know, that disappears when you don't have a case on it, um, including when this case is on it. Um, so with the older with the older case, you, that, that it, it just doesn't see it at all. All right, so I've got a case uh, that is now useless. Um, and even though there's actually, like I said, nothing really wrong with it other than some sort of a software incompatibility, you know, I can't really put this on eBay or sell it because likely whoever buys it will probably have the latest software. So this is pretty much, unfortunately, garbage now. Um, but that got me thinking. I've always kind of wanted to know a little bit more about what is in this case and what makes it tick. Um, from what I understand, um, it uses... Um, the charging coil in the back of the phone um, and so there's probably some sort of coil here to to bring over just a little bit of voltage just enough to power these uh, LEDs and everything um, and the sensors in it so why not take it apart so this kind of makes me cringe to even do this because I bought this on release um, day so you know it was you know full MSRP which I think was like $60 <laughs> Uh, so I don't, but the, the, the case is now well over a year old. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's out of warranty. So, and plus my curiosity is just really, I really want to know how it works. Oh, and by the way, I did check all these numbers here. Everything on this sticker is basically identical on the new one, um, except for the serial number. Um, but otherwise it, you can't just tell just by looking at it. I have heard some speculations about, um, knockoff cases out there that could have the same problem. I don't know if there's any truth to that. I mean, I bought this original one from Amazon, so I mean, I guess it could have been a knockoff, but it's a pretty darn good one if it is. Um, and um, let's just make sure I got the right cover on. Yep. <laughs> That'd be great. Um, they are a little cheaper now, but they're still not cheap cases, so I really don't want to ruin the new one. But let's see if we can get this... Um, back cover pulled apart first. And I've not seen any anybody else pull one of these apart, so I'm really not sure what I'm doing. Um, we know there's some sort of ribbon through the hinge here. Oh, I'll say this, it's made well. And I've had it for probably close to a year and a half, or maybe a little over a year and a half no problems so it's been through a lot i realize these cases aren't for everybody but aha we can sort of see a ribbon there so that tells me that really the probably the good stuff is going to be underneath this so let's see let's see if we can get that apart without slicing my finger off. Not really wanting to come apart. All right. Let's keep going this way. Some pretty tough fabric or whatever this stuff is. And looks like I just tore the ribbon cable. So no turning back now. So nothing back there. So there is the ribbon cable right there. And you can see the little slit for it there. Wow, they're really going to make us work for this. Obviously, this is for curiosity's sake only. There's really not going to be any repairing something like this. Aha, I'm starting to see something. guess is some sort of a all right that's I don't know what that is okay there's
here's the rest of the cable, so there's got to be some more stuff up here. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, well, I feel a little bit stupid now. We could have just pulled this sticker off, evidently. But it looks like there's some more stuff that we want to reveal here. And I think this is going to be the, the coil here. Something has to power those LEDs and sensors. It looks like I'm doing a pretty good job of ripping that ribbon cable. So, looks like we've got maybe a magnet here. Yep, there's a small magnet right there. And that probably tells the phone, hey, the case is attached. Or should tell it. And just like I expected, we've got a charging coil or, or similar what's in the phone here. Uh, or was in the back of the phone. Um, so they're using that existing charging coil that is in the back of the phone that you use to uh, wirelessly charge your phone to wirelessly provide power um, to this cover. All right, so we've got that out of there now. You can actually see, you know, on the fabric there where it said Galaxy S9, it's actually in the little charging coil itself. Um, so that's a closer look there. So that piece. It's a lot of technology crammed in this case. That's pretty neat. Um, so we've got a larger coil here and then looks like a smaller one back here. And here's the little board LED cover, Revision 0.03. Hmm. Now, I'm not going to take apart the new one, <laughs> but it makes me wonder what that little board says on the new one. Does it say 1.1 1 .1? um, or something else? And we can see these appear to be some sort of little contacts they may have used for... Um, testing or development when they were making this maybe not sure and here's the little board on the back and we've got this ribbon cable and a teeny tiny connector that releases the cable not sure why they went to the trouble of letting you release the cable on something like this that's not repairable but neat little board. All right, so obviously you didn't think we were going to stop without getting into this. There should be some sort of a little array of LEDs here. Um, there's also, you, you can also swipe on here. So there's some sort of touch sensitive something in there. So let's see if we can have any luck getting this apart and see what makes, makes it tick. And I already see a little board in here, so I did not think it would extend up that far, but hopefully it didn't cut into the board too much. All right, so something right here. Yep, another magnet. So interestingly, you know, there is a magnet, I guess, to tell it when the cover is shut, but it does not shut the screen off unless 
the phone is 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 detecting this circuitry here. I mean, because I mean, to me, if it would have been shutting the screen off, I probably would have just lived without the LEDs. It was really bothering me that the screen wasn't shutting off. That was the biggest thing, and wasn't turning on when I opened it. You get used to that. So anyway, here is that ribbon cable, and that's where we cut the cable, although there's something that goes right there. And so what does this other cable go to? Huh. Well, it looks like it just loops around to the to the cable to the other cable side. Maybe maybe that was done as a failsafe, maybe where if the opening and closing of this uh, hinge uh, <clears throat> eventually damage one of these cables. Maybe there's, there's a backup. Um, don't know. So let's see what this little screen looks like. And we've got um, SLED cover revision 0.3. So that matches the other board. And again, we've got some contacts here. Very cool. All right. So you can kind of see little holes that let the light through there. Yeah. You can That's what lets the light through the through the fabric there. Very cool. And so there's a close up on what the uh what the front of this little LED board looks like. Ribbon cable, some sort of a controller chip here, and just a, an array of some very low-powered uh, LEDs. I'm not sure, probably ruin it. Well, we've already ruined it. If this black thing would come off. There we go. Oh, well, that's cool. I'm guessing this is there to, to help the light not bleed from one LED to another to kind of give it a more defined look on it as it makes it, its way through the fabric. So that's really cool. Bunch of teeny tiny LEDs. Amazing what they can fit in a phone case. One other thing I'll point out, and you know, I mean, it's obviously they had to do this to uh, get it in the case without making the case bul bulky. But just the, how thin this PCB is. I mean, it's 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 almost like paper. Well, it is. I mean, like cardstock paper. I mean, it is. There's just nothing to it. It's an amazing, amazing little piece of tech. Alrighty. Well, that about does it for this video. Um, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed that this case uh, had to meet its demise before it was actually had failed in some way. Um, and yeah, I bought another one, but I just really like this case. Uh, but in any case, <laughs> it was really interesting to see uh, the insides of it. Always, I've read kind of some of the gist of it, but I always kind of wondered what it was like inside. So yeah, it's worth it to me. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you'll uh, consider subscribing. I've got some other videos of teardowns and things you might find interesting. But until something else breaks, that does it for this video.